and how will you line up your pitchers this series? Uh, Garrett will go game one, Nestor in game two, uh, Seve in game three. What made you decide to do it that way? What were the conversations like? You had mentioned there were going to be a lot of conversations about what direction you guys wanted to go for one, two, and three. Yeah, I mean, this is one of the areas of our club that, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about heading into the postseason. You know, I feel like all three of those guys, and, and then some, you know, if you want to throw J-Mo and, and Domingo into the mix, um, you know, we can go match up with other teams' pitchers and um, uh, feel like this is the best way to line it up as we, you know, embark on our, our goal of winning the championship. And will Matt Carpenter be on the ALDS roster? Um, I, I fully expect that. Um, he's He looks great. Um, uh, you know, he's been getting all his live at-bats. Actually took Nestor deep yesterday. Um, but he, he, he looks good swinging the bat, so uh, I, I am expecting that. Eric. Is Chapman on their postseason roster? Chappie will not be on the postseason roster. Um, he was uh, he was he was scheduled to be here Friday uh, as part of our workout with the live. Was not um, and and you know and and not what I thought was an acceptable excuse. So um, I've had him stay away for now. Did he go back to Miami? He is in Miami. Yeah get an explanation um is that not an acceptable yeah i just felt like um him not being here was was not okay and and um i just felt like you know it was best for him to first to stay away for now did he take a difficult decision out of your hands was he going to be on the postseason roster um i think i think there was a chance he absolutely could have been uh you know we we're still actually getting ready to start those conversations now so Excuse me. Um, so I, he, he he may have been made. Uh, it it's a mood point now. And then your discussions on how you would go with the uh, the rotation. How much consideration did you give to someone other than Cole starting game one? Well, like I said, with with those three guys, um, I, I really like where they're at and feel like we stack up really well in all three. So, you know, I at least considered every angle. Um, but ultimately decided this is the way we wanted to go. Brian to the left. <coughs> Chapman, you said not an acceptable excuse. What was his excuse? He just he wasn't here, and he was supposed to have a live, and um, you know, so I, I think he questioned whether he was going to be on the roster or not, and but you know, he needed to be here. And then, are you ruling him out for the the whole postseason, or just this first round? I I, I would I don't I don't want to necessarily do that, but. For this round, yes. Brennan, to the left. <coughs> Can I ask you how disappointing that is for you, uh, considering his status in the clubhouse, considering his status among the relief pitchers, to be put in that situation? Uh, I mean, I was disappointed. Um, yeah, I was disappointed. I felt, you know, well, yeah, I was disappointed that that he wasn't here for that. Um, you know, but we got to move on and 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 get ready for a you know a really good opponent. Dan to the right. Have you made a decision on uh, Lemayhu? Have not. Um, <clears throat> he'll, he'll have a light workout today, moving around. He'll probably get some live at bats tomorrow. Have not made that decision yet. How about Hicks and uh, Benintendi? Hicks, uh, Hicks is. What do you mean? Is going to be on the roster. Oh. Um, well, you know, we haven't had a roster meeting yet, so, you know, we'll probably have that. Um, we're doing our advance later today, and we'll we'll start to really dive in and um, on, on roster stuff. Andrew seems like a long long shot for me for this round. He is getting close. He is starting to hit on hit some live. Um, he's getting better every day. So I don't want to totally rule it out, but I'm I'm not necessarily expecting it. Wandy's okay. Wandy's good. Meredith. Aaron Giancarlo was just in here, and he had mentioned that with Carpenter just coming back, didn't think the outfield would be in play for him, so maybe he would try to take some reps during these workouts to see if he's an option there. Do you expect to use him in that capacity at all in the postseason, Giancarlo in the outfield? Uh, it is something he and I have talked about. So 
um, you know, as long as he's feeling good, like making sure he's getting his work out there. Um, so I don't anticipate it necessarily early um, in this series, um, but I want want it in there. So it's a potential option. Um, so G and I are on board with that. Uh, Eric <coughs> and Chris. What, uh, what is your read on the Guardians as a first-round opponent? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, obviously a team that's young and really come of age in the second half and kind of ran away with the division at the end, played in a lot of meaningful games where, you know, they've performed at a really high level and, and obviously played two close games with the Rays. And, um, you know, it's, it's a team that's athletic, that plays really good defense, uh, a deep, deep pitching staff. Um, and I, I think a team that's playing with a lot of confidence, you know, they, they had to go out and take the division down the stretch and they did that. Then they had to go beat a really good opponent in the first round. They did that, um, all doing it in close games. So it's a young group that, um, you know, has, has played well in in meaningful situations. So, um, it's playoffs. It's going to, it's going to be hard. It's going to be a challenge you play really good opponents. So, um, look forward to that opportunity, look forward to playing, um, and hopefully, hopefully being able to move on, but, uh, know our work's cut out for us. Chris. <coughs> Given with how the schedule breaks down, have you decided if a three man starting rotation is what you'll do or is that still you know, to be decided? <coughs> right now I would lean that way. Um, but that would to be decided, you know, I think a lot depends on JMO's role moving forward with us in the in the bullpen in this series, which I think could be significant. I think it could be really, really an important role for us. So we'll see how we use there. But he, he certainly would fall into the mix later. But the way it lines up, uh, I, I lean a little more at our three man. James, back right. right. Hey, Aaron, two quick questions. Uh, regarding Chapman just circling back, is there any, like, dis I mean, I know he won't be on this roster, but, like, is there any disciplinary action if he didn't show up for, like, a team of <coughs> or anything that you guys would have to take? Yeah. Um, we're, we're talking about that. That's, that's yes, yeah, it's possible. And the second question, sorry, uh, Aaron Judge, sorry, was, you know, I think he intentionally walked only, like, 19 times all year. I think we talked about this earlier. <coughs> Just not a strategy teams really employ in, like, modern baseball. But mm -hmm. given a short series, do you think that, like, you know, in the playoffs, do you think teams might actually try to avoid him this time instead of pitching to him like they had before? I, I, I think it'll be similar. You know, I think if, if teams feel – if it's kind of in their DNA to consider it, uh, I think it's, it's going to be on the table. And I'm sure there'll be situations where – It'll be obvious to slightly more gray, and then you have a decision to make. Um, so, I don't, I don't necessarily think more now, because you know you're playing in meaningful games down the stretch that you're trying to win those games. So that strategic decision comes up, whether it's a postseason or the regular season. We'll, we'll see how the Guardians treat it. Matthew to the left. Aaron, with the little break you have between the regular season and this series, did you allow yourself to kind of think about just how crazy this year was for you with, you know, the hot start and you have the August slump, you have a bunch of trades, you have the judge home run chase. Did you find yourself kind of reflecting on that at all? Not not really. I mean, every season's always crazy, you know. You know, I feel like 21 would say hold my beer to this year, you know, and then we go back into the pandemic in 20 and – hold that beer you know like you know it's every year has its challenges I mean the 162 is the real deal you know so um I don't do necessarily a lot of reflecting at this time it's more about we're moving forward and what's the what do we have today to try and get ready for 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 our series coming up and you're just you're kind of constantly moving forward Ron <clears throat> how much planning is involved for you and Matt in the bullpen situation this year compared to other years where you have a set closer or a set eighth inning guy? Do you start uh, game planning various scenarios a day or two ahead, the day of? Um, I, I guess it's a little bit different. Um, but
but but process wise, not a whole lot different. I mean, you know, we go into each day. All right, who's available? What do we think we have them for? And you know, you try and kind of go through and map out like, okay, where are the best scenarios where they fit in today? So it's different than in past years, maybe. Um, but the process isn't any different about where we're trying to get guys in, in to be successful. Yeah, I was thinking more as like in the past, if you had a set closer, you know, nine here, are you thinking, okay, if top of the order comes up in the seventh, we would do a, if it comes up in the eighth, we would do B. I mean, yeah, but again, that's something we do every day anyway, you know, based on their lineup, based on what they have on the bench. Um, you know, you're, you're ultimately trying to get guys matched up as best you can, uh, where they have the best chance to be successful. Sometimes you, you're not afforded that luxury based on usage or you already used a guy or you've had to use guys earlier. So, um, but again, process wise, that's nothing much different there. Take a few more, Dan and Eric, <coughs> Eric and Dan. With uh, Tyone, do you know how you know how you'd want to use him in the bullpen since he doesn't have experience doing that? You know, it's um, I think start it, an inning. Or look, I, I think JMO could fit in everywhere from giving us meaningful innings in in a certain game to a big spot in a high leverage spot late to closing a game. I, I really feel like, and, and I feel like he has the makeup to handle whatever we throw at him. Um, we'll try and prepare him as best we can, but. Um, know he'll be ready for and embrace the challenge of all of it. But I could see JMO in, in every possible role down there. Is that similar to what Herman might be asked to do? Yeah. Yeah, it could be. <coughs> Excuse me. Could, it could be, yeah. Eric. When we were talking to Clay, he said he was, quote, not exactly sure whether he'll be ready for game one. What's your inclination on his availability? Yeah, we'll see. I, I, I think um, – uh, we're probably going to have him throw a live tomorrow. Um, so we'll, we'll see if we want to have him available for game one, game two. Um, but he is, the week's gone well, I would say. Do you, do you see him on the bus? I do. Ed, all the way in the back, right? Hi, Aaron. Uh, are you at all surprised that you're playing Cleveland and not Tampa? No, no. I, I mean, I, I would have believed anything, you know, I mean, I, I looked at all these series and feel like nothing would surprise me. You know, it's been fun to watch the last couple of days unfold and the drama of it and the excitement of it all. Um, I hope, I hope it's been, I hope baseball fans have really enjoyed these last couple of days. Um, but if you would have told me in any of the four series, this team is beating that team wouldn't have surprised me at all. Um, and, and, you know, as much as, you know, Cleveland swept them two games. The margin was so slim, it could have been two the other way. So, and, and that wouldn't have surprised me either. Take, uh, Chris, you have the last one. Have you made a decision on Peraza yet? Uh, no. Thank you, Aaron.